What's up guys, Austin Newman here, and today we're gonna be talking about how you can get this really cool vintage look for your next project. This vintage effect features RGB splitting, which of course, if you're a longtime viewer of this channel, then you already know is one of my favorite effects to use. I'm gonna show you how you can get this entire look right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. But of course, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button with post notifications on for more filmmaking and editing tutorials just like this one. So we're now inside of Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018. I've got my footage queued up of my friend Stephanie here on my timeline. I'm ready to apply this effect to, but first I wanna mention why I chose this footage in comparison to like an open field or landscape or something like that. This footage in particular has a lot of colors around the edges, which is really good and makes this effect pop the best. The second reason why I chose this footage is because if we apply this effect, you have the RGB on the outside and her in the middle untouched from the RGB, then it really vignettes our subject and draws your eye to the center of the screen, which I like. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with an RGB split. Now I've covered RGB splitting on my channel numerous times before. In fact, I offer a free preset that I could use. You can find that linked up here if you wanna download that for free. But for those of you who don't wanna use a preset today, I'm gonna to show you how you can do the RGB splitting all in program. So I've got my footage here on the timeline. I'm gonna go up to my effect controls and under opacity, I'm gonna change the blending mode from normal to linear dot add. That's the first step. Secondly, I want to go down to my effects panel and I'm going to type in RGB. You'll find under video effects, image control, color balance RGB already comes installed on Premiere. We're going to drag this onto our clip. And now under our effect controls, we see it pop up and we're going to see all of the channels here, red, green, and blue. We're going to use this as our red channel. So we'll take green to zero and blue to zero. Now we wanna duplicate this a couple of times. So we're going to hold down alt, click and drag up to duplicate. And one more time, click to drag up to duplicate with alt selected. We're gonna use our top layer as our red layer. We're gonna go down to our middle one and we're going to change red to zero and add 100 to green. And it's okay if it defaults to 39, that's normal. Just make sure you are entering a value of 100. Now we're gonna go down to our blue channel down here at the bottom, take red to zero and add 100 for blue. So now our footage looks normal again, which is a successful RGB splitting. We're gonna go up here to our top layer and under effects, we are going to apply a lens distortion. So under video effects, distort lens distortion, we're going to drag that onto our top red channel. Under effect controls, we'll see it populate down here. There's two things that I wanna change in here. The first is we're going to uncheck fill alpha. That way, if you wanted to do something crazy with this, then it's not gonna fill it with a white background. Now we're gonna go up here to curvature and I like to go with a value of negative two or three. So as you can tell, it's RGB split the outside and focusing in on the center it has no RGB splitting going on. So make sure to play around with this kind of a little bit. I usually don't like to go over five, but even if I wanted to go to five, we can kind of see the effect a little bit more, but it's a really fun effect to play around with. And that's as easy as it is to get this look right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Of course, if you learned something, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more filmmaking and editing tutorials just like this one with post notifications on and until next time guys we'll see you later